Hi, I'm Rebecca Michaud reporting for News Now. Today we're at the Belmont Farmers Market celebrating National Farmers Market Week. Today's special guest is Ashley Randall, the commissioner of MDAR. She certainly knows about farms and agriculture. She grew up on a fifth generation dairy farm in South Deerfield. MDAR supports farmers markets, runs the farmers market nutrition program, guides agricultural policy, recently distributed grants to support food access, and so much more. Here we bring farmers, producers, and shoppers together every week. And we're really excited to have the commissioner here today to see that important connection in the Massachusetts food system. The theme this year is sustaining farms and nourishing communities. And that's perfect. It's exactly what we do here. Along with about 35 other vendors, we have 10 farms. Some are large, some are small, some grow produce, some raise animals, but they're all local. And everything we do is about community. Story time, office hours, music, and so much more. Part of that community feeling is offering food assistance. Through our market, local shoppers were able to get an extra $59,000 to help stretch their food budgets last year. And we hope that increases this year. Another important part is Pop Club, which the Boston Globe recently said connects kids with the local food system through engaging and educational activities. Plus, it's really fun. And we have more of those activities today for kids and their grown-ups. Look around the market for games, prizes, and loads of information about farms, agriculture, and farmers markets. Next, we'll hear from Ken Nishwe of Nishwe Family Farm. They've been with us since we started in 2006, and they've been in Bolton for three generations. Uh, Massachusetts has always been a very progressive state in terms of its agriculture. Uh, we have the uh, UMass Extension Service that has always done cutting edge research to have us lessen our reliance on chemicals. Uh, we have the Farm Bureau that always keeps its eye on legislation to see what actually will benefit the, the farms in, the, in this commonwealth. Uh, we have the Department of Ag Resources, which actually is the, uh, the head of this year. We've had many, many individuals in that position over my lifetime. And Massachusetts has been the first for a lot of areas. We've been the first to have 61A, which reduces the tax liability to farmers. The first ones that had the Agricultural Protection uh, Resource Program, which is the APR program, which my farm is, which makes sure that our farms continue in the future. We also have the, uh, the um, USDA, the Farm Service Agency, and also the uh, NRCS. All these agencies help my farm go from entirely wholesale to entirely retail. We've had so many individuals help us out and so many people that we, we can't thank enough for. And I can thank the commissioner right now because I'd like her to say some words as well. Uh, we, as I say, she's come from a long line of commissioners and she has been wonderful in her job. Ashley, Ashley Randall, thank you. Good afternoon. It's so wonderful to be here today with all of you to celebrate National and Massachusetts Farmers Market Week. We were talking earlier how this is our Olympics of the year and we really look forward to this week. I mean, we even have tattoos similar to the athletes that have their ring tattoos. We have farmers market tattoos to celebrate and recognize the significance of this week. And really, as Hal was saying, it takes a community to run and put together a farmer's market. It takes the market managers and volunteers. It takes the select board and legislators for their support. And of course, the farmers. This is such a critical outlet for our farming community. And with over 220 summer and fall markets across the state, it helps to support food access and to build that community to recognize that the most vulnerable in our populations need to have access and deserve to have access to fresh, local, nutritious food. And Belmont certainly exemplifies that and the theme of this year's Farmers Market Week. The POP program, I think, is a wonderful program with youth engagement, allowing them to have the buying power 
and to the decision making for what food they're going to purchase and to start them off at an early age with an appreciation for local Massachusetts agricultural food. And it's really exciting, as I said, to be here to be able to read the proclamation for Governor Healy and to celebrate with all of you. So with that, I will read the proclamation. Whereas Massachusetts is home to more than 260 summer and winter farmers markets that operate in every region of the Commonwealth, and whereas farmers markets facilitate the use of food access programs like SNAP, the Healthy Incentives Program, and the Farmers Market Nutrition Program, ensuring that fresh local produce is affordable for all, now, therefore, I, Maura T. Healy, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim August 4th through 10th to be Massachusetts Farmers Market Week and urge all residents of the Commonwealth to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. Happy Massachusetts Farmers Market Week. Thank you. That's for you. For us. Yes. Cool. Now do we need to ring the bell? Yeah, we're a little early, but no one's going to mind that. Ken, want to ring the bell? Oh, that's right. Are you open? I got a ring. I guess we're Might as well. We're a little early. That's okay. <laughs> He'll hold it and you just ring the heck out of it. Okay. Hello, I'm here with Commissioner Randall asking about the National Farmers Market Week this week. Um, what are your thoughts on a farmers market in general and how it helps the community? Farmers markets are a really critical food access point for communities. We have over 220 summer and fall farmers markets across the state, and many of them offer the state and federal nutri nutrition assistance programs, such as the Supplemental Nutrition, nutrition Assistance Program, the Healthy Incentives Program, and at this particular market in Belmont, they have the POP program, which provides funding to youth to be able to make decisions about the local food that they're purchasing and ensuring that they have access to nutritious, healthy food at an early age. So we just heard you give a statement, and I know that you're visiting a bunch of farmer's markets this week. Uh, what is different from each farmer's market? Like, what makes it unique? I would say that every market is unique in that they represent the culture of their communities. And as I've traveled around the state, this will be our fourth farmer's market visit this week. They are all unique in the sense of the community and to be able to feature the arts and the culture and certainly the farmers. And the farmers really rely on these markets for the direct-to-consumer interactions, to have that source of income. I'm hearing it's a great growing season, and so it's been really positive to visit the markets and hear from the farmers directly about how it supports them and their overall sustainability. Could you tell me about your background that led you to your current position? <laughs> I grew up on a fifth generation dairy farm in western Massachusetts and I was always interested in policy and finding ways to be able to support farmers and to help be an advocate for the industry that had provided me with so many wonderful me memories and opportunities and I was very fortunate to be appointed by Governor Healy in March of 2023 and I am grateful every day for this opportunity to work with our farmers across the state at over 7,000 farms. Oh, wow. How do you support farmers markets across the state? We are very fortunate in the last budget that we were able to have a dedicated marketing fund to be able to support the sustainability of farmers markets and we awarded over $2,000 in funding to farmers markets across the Commonwealth to help with advertising and promotion as well as infrastructure such as tents, snap and hip processing equipment and any other relevant market needs and we're able to continue that program again this year and looking forward to working with farmers markets on their needs there. We've also launched and had over 30 market managers participate in a Spanish language course to be able to connect with consumers and have a very respectful dialogue and understanding when there's transactions and we're looking to expand the course offerings for other languages in the future. 
Interesting. I'm here with select board member Matt Taylor and I'm asking you why you came out today, what makes this important to the community? Oh, thank you. It's great to uh, be here with everyone. Uh, the farmer's market is I think of it as a community center with an emphasis on not just uh, food access but food education. Um, you know, my kids love being handed a couple dollars to go buy, you know, local good for you food in the market. I think it's incredible. I think of it as a, a third space where people can come together, you know, no judgment, no agenda. Uh, it brings people to Belmont to see all the good things that are going on in our town. It brings people to Belmont Center and all the local businesses that are here. And it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a wonderful community and bringing people together, not just from Belmont, but the surrounding areas. I'm happy to be here every day. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Hal Shubin, the chair of the farmer's market. And I'm asking, what does the proclamation mean to you? Well, it's great. It's good recognition from the governor's office, from the Department of Agricultural Resources about how important farmers markets are and um, local agriculture in general. It starts out saying that there are 260 farmers markets and I think she said there are 700 farms. So it's a good way to let people know how important this is in, in the Commonwealth. Why is it important to have National Farmers Market Week? It really is a national celebration and it's a way to let people know about the importance of farms and farmers markets. I mean, if you look around, um, there are dozens and dozens of people here right now. They come here because the food is really fresh, it's grown locally, they're supporting local businesses, and it's just a fun place to be. And so Farmers Market Week is a way that we get to tell everybody about that through social media and our newsletter and everything, and great stories like this. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you next time.